Hey Tackle Warehouse fans, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New ETW. We're getting towards the end of June. Should be ledge fishing season for most people around uh, different parts of the country. Uh, if you're up north, the smallmouth fishing is really, really good this time of the year. We got a bunch of really cool stuff. We got some new lure customization stuff, a bunch of new baits, some new shirts. So let's get right into it with a new rod from Mega Bass. Now, not necessarily a new rod, but new to Tackle Warehouse. We finally just got these in the Destroyer TS series of casting rods. So the TS series really focused on the bigger baits and bigger applications. This rod right here, the King of Baccarat, is really built for those oversized, large swim baits. These, this is a really cool series of rods. They are built incredibly tough and just, just built for those, you know, bigger line, bigger baits, uh, bigger fish, and just uh, those more heavier duty applications. So the blanks are their SLX, uh, carbon graphite but up here on the guides they're using these uh these double wrapped double foot guides all the way up the cosmetics always phenomenal on a mega bass destroyer series carbon wrap all the way up the blank just improves that durability makes them a little bit more lighter weight and for for some of these rods i mean they are crazy lightweight and balanced for what you're getting this king of back rat rod is rated three to 15 ounces so it's super burly made for that really really big stuff you know custom reel seats and grips all the way down. Like I said, you know, this, the King of Back Rat Rod is really built for that really, really big baits. But if you need something, you know, scaled down, I believe we have rods all the way down to, that are rated like half ounce to three ounce, and then all the way up to this one, three to 15. So a uh, wide range of new rods in there. If you need a new swim bait rod, the Destroyer TS series is now in stock at Tackle Warehouse. If you like to customize your own lures, we got a bunch of stuff from 8-Bit. So. Um, this 8-bit stuff, it's so hard to see the the kind of the dust that's in there, but this hollow shift powder is that you can add it into your soft plastic mixture. And then we got these siren scales. So really cool stuff. You can add it into your soft plastic mixture to make some really cool custom colors. They've sent us actually kind of a sample of of baits that they've poured and just given given customers kind of an example of like what you can make with those color, those additives. So, I mean, some of the colors, you really have to get them in the light just to see those iridescence and like that color shifting pattern that you can get in there. But uh, really cool stuff. If you pour your own plastics, this is definitely something you want to take a look at. Um, it's just, uh, just the, the little fine details. You can get those colors to kind of pop and do exactly what you want and kind of, kind of transition different colors. You kind of move them in the light and get really cool mixes. So if you pour your own plastics, something to look into. Uh, just make something that's totally unique uh, and really cool colors there. Got a bunch of new stuff from 8-Bit. Uh, again, from Mega Bass. Again, not another new one, but new to TW. We have the, the, the Shatting X series of baits. So we have them all the way down to the 55 size, all the way up to the 75. So the 55 little tiny guy and the 75, uh, I believe it comes in at about a quarter of an ounce. But these are really cool. They're kind of that shad profile kind of unique uh, shad po profile crankbait, almost like a shad wrap. And traditionally, you know, those styles of baits have always been made, you know, out of balsa wood and other lighter materials, and they've always kind of been difficult to fish. And you pretty much gotta throw them on spinning rods, they're hard to cast, but this thing is really cool. It actually has two tungsten balls on the inside, so the weight transfer system is incredible. So you can cast this stuff on bait casting equipment, especially the 75 size. Um, you'll be able to cast this thing no problem. And then you're gonna get that that shad profile, it just looks more like a shad than most of your crankbaits on the market, but then have that really, really tight wobbling action. So super tight action, it's not gonna roll super hard like a big round body crankbait. And then you can also, these are kind of hybrid baits, you can twitch them and they will dart and kind of stay in that nose down position. They're not gonna dart super erratically side to side and up and down like a jerk bait, but you can twitch them and get them to jump around a little bit. And then when you retrieve them, you know, have that nice tight swimming action out of them. So a really cool bait, gonna be great for upcoming in the fall when you really got to downsize to match those young, uh, those young shad, go down to that smaller size. And then again, in the winter time, when you want that tighter action for those more colder water situations, that's gonna be a great bait for you. From Greenfish, we have the new DOT minnows. So dead on target minnow. And the uh, one thing I do wanna say about these is uh, for the size of them, for how big they are, they are incredibly heavy. So this four inch size, I believe it weighs three quarters, three quarters of an ounce. So you're gonna be able to bomb this bait, absolutely throw it a mile. Um, and they've made this bait 
really geared towards uh, the forward-facing sonar uh, fishing that's going around most of the country and what most people are kind of trending to right now. So this is a slow sinking bait and you can you can straight re reel it or straight retrieve it and it does have a nice shimmy and, and swimming action to it, but you can also snap it and twitch it and it's gonna dart side to side and kind of dance around a little bit like a jerk bait. But since it's slow sinking, you can control your depth. So if you're if you're fishing suspended fish in five feet, 10 feet, you can see this thing on your graph, count it down and get it in the zone and fish those fish effectively. Really cool bait there from Greenfish. Um, another really cool one that we got here from Duo Realis. This is the Dead Drift 100. When I first saw this bait, um, I was like, this is gonna be a great spotted bass bait just from the size of it and all the hooks on it. We know how a spotted bass can be. They come up and slash at baits and you can hardly ever get a hook in them. But when we actually learn more about this bait, how you fish it, it's actually kind of designed for stream fishing and river fishing. So the dead drift, it's made to drift on its side like that. So, uh, so anglers are util utilizing this bait in really heavy, really fast current, throwing it upstream and they're letting it float on the top and it drifts you know, just downstream, just looks like a dead bait fish or a dead shad. Uh, something that's really cool and you, uh, really unique, but when you do go to swim it, it does ride itself and goes, um, it, it rides itself and swims straight up and down vertically um, and has a really tight S swimming action with all the joints on there. But with all the hooks, I mean, those little fins on the side have a single hook and then you have a treble hook on the belly and then the tail actually has a treble hook too. So fish definitely aren't escaping this one, but if certain states, wherever you're at, make sure you check out your hook regulations because this has four on it and you don't want to end up a ticket, end up with a ticket from Fish and Game. But, uh, but a really cool, unique bait, you know, this also could work really well, maybe in, the, in certain lakes when they're, when they're blowing up on bait fish out in the middle and they're schooling, and you wanna throw one that looks like it's wounded, you can let it sit out there, and then you can twitch it, it'll ride itself and swim away. Just something different, a little bit unique, uh, really cool bait there from Duo Realis. From Reaction Innovations, we got the new Scope Shot. So this is the same bait and profile as the Shiver Shot and the Shiver Glide. So this one's just an in-between size. So this one's a 4.25 size. They're calling it the scope shot because it seems like everyone that's live scope, live scope fishing is wanting something in that around that four inch size. But highly effective bait that Reactions had out for a long time. Now they have a new size that's right in the middle of the two they already got. Um, the other things you can also do with this bait, it's really, really good on a drop shot. And it's also a great bait for smaller, uh, your smaller vibrating jigs. It does have that fork tail on the back that moves around really well on a vibrating jig. And it's also a really good scrounger trailer. So if you fish a lot of scroungers, another great bait for that technique as well. So new size right there in the middle with the new scope shot. Um, from lure parts online, we got a bunch of new jig heads. So if you are looking to pick one of these up and you need a head to throw on it, uh, lure parts online has got a couple new options. So they have the hover hook HD and that would work perfect for a bait like that. Uh, these new Hoverhook HDs are just built for those bigger soft plastics. You know, the stuff that's in your four or five inch size, like a full size fluke. So a bigger hook, heavier duty, you can throw this on bait casting equipment and not have to worry about bending the hook out. So a bigger, heavier duty option for a hover hook. And then they got their stroller jig. And the way they've got the lead on this thing and the way they've molded the line tie, it keeps your knot perfectly in a, in a, in a 90 degree position. So it keeps that bait perfectly horizontal when you're winding it if you're needing a, uh, if you're needing a, a, a hover strolling jig head. But this one also excels at vertical jigging. So if you want to drop straight down to fish um, with that line tie, th that is the jig head that you want. And then the last one they got is their slip shad. So that Bill Lowen uh, slip shad design. They, they already got this jig head out, but now they have it in this drop spin. So with that little swivel there on the bottom, you can now add a blade. So if you want to underspin, now you're getting that extra flash and just more vibration in the water help attract fish from farther distances away. Um, these line through style heads are phenomenal. If you've never used one, I highly recommend trying one out. So the line goes through the middle of the head, you tie on a treble hook, screw on your favorite swim bait, and the hookup ratio and the amount of swim baits that you save is incredible. I tried one out this spring and I was completely shocked on how many fish I could catch on one Kitech before tearing them up. Uh, we all know what fish do to a Kitech on a jig head. You're lucky to get a couple out of it, um, but they're so effective, you gotta use them. Uh, this actually works super well and saved a ton of baits. From 
Core Tackle, we have a new swim jig. This one, I'm pretty pumped to try out myself. Um, so I, I watched Matt Steffen's video explaining his take on this swim jig. So they're building off of their, their Tush jig head, which is, it's got a bunch of the weight molded onto the shank of their hook and the Tush jig head was made for hollow bodies. And now they've taken that design and kind of morphed it into a swim jig. And what that's gonna do for you, since most of your lead is down here on the shank and not actually up here on the head, um, it, it transfers the balance of this swim jig and you get insane amount of body roll. When I was watching the, you know, his swim jig go through the water with a, with a little dipper on the back, I mean, it rolls back and forth super hard. I mean, you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get vibration. It's gonna be similar to almost a vibrating jig, you know, without the blade, but this thing goes through cover insanely well. So the head is really, really small on it. That's another thing that's gonna help going through brush and grass is you don't have a giant head up here on the front. So it's just gonna help you navigate some of that structure. And then the way that all that lead is on the shank, once you get your trailer on there, it's gonna completely lock that thing in place and hold it on there a lot better than just you know a tiny little barb keeper. And then they went with a wire weed guard up here on the top. And uh, what that's gonna do is just, you know, it's gonna help protect that hook, but it's not, it's not gonna have that big fiber weed guard on there. So it's less, um, you know, it's less resistance to move back and forth and gonna increase that amount of body roll. A really cool swim jig design, you know, something that's completely different than just a lead head with a skirt on it. Um, something that I really wanna check out and try for myself, the, that new core tackle swim jig. From Zorro Baits, so we got the new Zorro. Uh, we actually got a couple new um, forward-facing sonar jig heads. They have a regular lead one, but they also have these new tungsten ones. So uh, a lot of people are looking for those tungsten jig heads. Uh, Zorro's got you covered, so you got Tungsten, much smaller, more compact, and uh, a lot heavier you know, versus the profile that you would get with a lead jig. So you can throw these things a lot farther, and then the return on your sonar is supposed to be a lot better. So if you're looking for a tungsten head with a nice screw lock on there, it helps save some baits. Uh, Zorro's got you covered with that one. And then this one, pumped about for this time of the year, the new long arm aggravator uh, nighttime spinnerbait. So now is the time to be out there night fishing. We know in some parts of the country it is absolutely brutal right now to be out there fishing in the daytime. 100 plus degrees, you know, you know, 100% humidity, not the time you want to be out on the water, but the night fishing can be spectacular during the summertime. And, uh, you know, an oversized spinnerbait is always a great thing to have tied on when you're out there fishing in the summertime. So with that long arm and that big Colorado blade, that long arm is just going to enhance the action and vibration that you're gonna get with that big oversized Colorado blade. So this thing is gonna thump and produce just a ton of vibration. And then they've got them in all the nighttime colors that you want, you know, black with a, you know, a little bit of pink and purple in there, dark colors. I think we got like bright white and chartreuse, but the color profiles that you want for night fishing, they got them covered. And that big O'Shaughnessy style hook on there. So big fish, no problem. Going to get plenty of uh, great hookups. And then with that O'Shaughnessy style bin, uh, you're not going to lose that many. So great spinnerbait for nighttime fishing. Last up, we got we got a bunch of new shirts, a uh, bunch of new Tackle Warehouse design shirts. And we wanted to let you know there's a bunch more coming that that are that are getting images right now that should be up on the website any day. But the first batch of shirts that we got, this one that I'm wearing right here, the new Navy uh, fish flag shirt. So we also have it in the in the olive, like the OD green style color. Really cool designs. And then we've also got this three quarter kind of, it's, I think it's the Americana, this more uh, like baseball style t-shirt. Another cool shirt. Another one that we did is the taillight shirt. So just something a little bit different than, you know, all the designs that we've done in the past with just different variations of the box fish. And like I said, we have more coming out here in the near future. And then another one that we did, anglers with kids are gonna be stoked about this one. We have the bubble shirt, but we have them in kid sizes and adult sizes. So if you and your little buddy angler wanna have matching shirts out there on the lake, you can get them. We have the new bubble series from Tackle Warehouse. So that's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. For more information on purchase any product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.